Hey guys, how you doing? Eric at SoCal Cigars here. Just wanted to throw out a really quick video to go over some basics. Um, to go over a lot of, of the paraphernalia that goes along with smoking cigars. Um, like a lot of hobbies, when you get into things, before you know it, you've got piles of stuff. You've got lighters, you've got cutters, you've got different ways to carry your cigars around and storage and miscellaneous stuff. So, kind of want to go over um, kind of all the the tools and paraphernalia and stuff you end up getting throughout this cigar journey that uh, you know I want to kind of go over what I think is useful um, in every category I'll kind of give you my recommendation of like you know out of all these this is the one I like the most and this is why I like it the most so maybe it'll give you guys uh, something to think about maybe you uh, see a few things you didn't know about uh, again, you know my channel. I'm always trying to help you guys learn and make your cigar smoking experience better. And I think some of the stuff that we carry with us and that we utilize in the cigar world, some of those things can make it better and make it a better experience. So let's head on up and I'm going to lay out a few things. We'll go through category by category and I will uh, at least give you my thoughts on it and uh, my final recommendation in each category. So let's go upstairs and do that now. All right, I've decided to start with lighters because the natural progression of things to me would be a cutter because you take your cigar, you cut it, then you light it. But I will tell you, I have a cousin in Missouri who on the regular bites the end of his cigars off. So you could really bypass the cutter if you wanted to, but you still need to light it. And again, like I've already mentioned, a lighter's a lighter's a lighter, right? Yeah, yeah, but the whole reason I'm doing this video is to point out that within the realm of anything, lighters, cutters, whatever the topic we're going to cover is, I'm going to recommend at least what I think is better and why. So, that being said, let's start with the basics, you know. So, for example, this, I love this lighter. This is something I found at a gas station. I think I paid like seven bucks. It is simply a single torch. Okay. But what I like about it is you can light for a while, <clears throat> you can flip this up. So if the tip gets kind of hot, you can set it down. It won't stand on this, but you can set it down and it'll uh, keep the end that might get hot off of the surface. So that was actually, I thought, kind of cool. And you also have a thing where you can, I think, uh, keep it on. And then there's adjustable. And I also like that you can see the fluid level. So that's a big thing for me. I really like when you can see the fluid level because if I'm grabbing a lighter on the way out, I don't want to have to try to guess what's in there. So I like that, that you, you either have a window or it's see-through. Um, <clears throat> other lighters that I like, like this one I thought was really cool. I've had this for a lot of years. And again, why I like this one partially is that it it serves two, two purposes, more than one purpose, let's just say. It has a punch in it. So I kind of like these lighters that serve more purpose. So if you really wanted to, you could just walk out with just this lighter and not have to worry about a punch. And I also like that it's triple flame. I'm a real big fan of triple flame. Um, <clears throat> so that's awesome lighter. And again, that wasn't that much. I think I got it off Amazon for like 13, 14 bucks. Um, and again, here's, you know, I won't go through everything in detail, but again, I like this. It's got a window. This one too um, has a little window on it. So you can see how much fuel is in there. This too I liked because it's a quad, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, this is a quad, so it's got four. So I kind of like that too. Um, but again, this one doesn't have a window. So if I'm leaving the house and I want to grab a lighter, I don't know how much is in here. I could I could light it and say, well, it's got fluid in it, but how much? You know, I might run out and I'll be bummed. <clears throat> um, I did throw matches in here because you could use matches, but for intents and purposes of this video, we're not going to be using matches. Um, another cool thing is if you do still like your old Zippos, which I do, um, you can get an insert and turn the Zippo into a dual flame torch lighter. So I thought that was kind of cool because, you know, a lot of us have these Zippos we've been collecting or been gifted. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you don't typically like to light a cigar with Zippo, that type of lighter fluid, because you can sometimes get the taste from that lighter fluid into the cigar. So it's nice you can do a torch method on that still. And if you're curious about that, this is what this is. This is the Z Plus 2.0 Extreme, and it is literally just an insert for your Zippo lighter. As you can see, turn any 
or turn an ordinary oil lighter into a torch lighter. So um, this is kind of cool. I think I got it off Amazon. And again, it wasn't very much money. Um, so I'm going to get in now to the two lighters I would argue I carry the most. And I'll tell you why. <clears throat> this lighter I probably carry more than any other lighter. It's a Vector and it was about 25 bucks. Number one, it's see-through. I know how much fluid's in here. There is no guessing. The other thing that I like about this lighter is it is a triple torch, but most triple torches are shaped like a little triangle. This one is shaped, as you see, in line. And so I love that for lighting a, a cigar because <clears throat> it's basically the width of a cigar. So you're able to kind of sweep across your cigar in a straight line and get the entire cigar at one shot. So unlike like a single torch or double or a triple that's really going to be focused into a little pyramid, um, this actually gives you a much wider... See how wide that is? So when you're lighting your cigar, man, you can really sweep it across the whole front and it really gets it good. That's awesome to me. I love that feature. I probably grab this lighter more than any other lighter. That being said, I recently did get this lighter. <clears throat> Just because I like tech. I like kind of cool things like this. So again, there's your window. I mean, this one really hits it all. You've got your window. The cool thing about this one, it's an icon. So you'll see too, it's got the triple flame. But it's got a uh, push a touchscreen starter so you can see now that now if you do notice this one narrows down uh, the two outside jets are kind of pointed at a little bit of an angle inward so that it does focus the the flame so I don't like this one as much as, as this one because this one doesn't do that this one they're basically literally just all pretty much straight um, it's a little bit wider of a flame but I, I gotta tell you man I love the technology of this. I like that you just flip it up and you just tap it. And then it's got those, see it's down to three bars. Normally it would be four. So it actually tells you how much charge is left. And then all you really do is you plug this into your computer or uh, any kind of a USB charger and it uh, charges. The other thing I like about this lighter is it has a very large wheel for adjusting the flame. Okay. Same with this thing. This is actually really cool. Um, if you look at this, you actually pull this out and see that actually tilts up. If you can see it. Yeah, like that. So you could actually take this and it becomes like a little handle so you can adjust the flame and then you fold it back down. Unlike your average one that, that you've, you're trying to find a little tiny screwdriver to, to adjust the flame. So I really do like and like this too, this is also one that's got, you know, a very large flame adjuster. So that, <clears throat> that matters a lot to me. Um, so I would say if I'm running down the list of important things for me, I like that it's, I like a lighter that's easy to adjust and you can adjust on the fly because as you run out of fluid, you'll notice that it, the flame gets a little weaker. So I like to be able to turn them up. I like a triple in line and I like that it, has a, either a window or is clear so I can see how much fluid's in there. Those things are really important to me. So that being said, there's a few things you'll need to keep in mind you need as well in the lighter category. One, you're going to need lighter fluid. Always get a good brand. Always get premium, triple, filtered, whatever. Don't skimp on the lighter fluid. Get good stuff, okay? And get these bigger ones and you save money. So the other thing I'm going to show you that is really important to me for the lighter category is this little lighter tool. So one end of this is a bleeder. The other end is a little screwdriver. I'm trying to see if you can see that little screwdriver feature. There you go. So if you do have a lighter like this one, you can actually use this little screwdriver to adjust it. The bleeder is, if you've watched my video on um, how to fill your lighter properly, you know, you, I always recommend that you bleed, bleed out all the air so you can get more fluid. And as a third little feature on this one, if you pull it apart, it actually is also a punch. So that's actually kind of cool. They, they made it, you know, kind of like three things in one. So that's pretty slick. Um, 
Anyway, I think having a little lighter tool like this is very important to be able to bleed it, to be able to adjust it. I keep this in my little bag, which I'll show you later. Um, so anyway, that's kind of, for me, that's the kind of the, <clears throat> the lighter category. And, and again, my top pick is going to always be easily to easily adjusted for me, a triple, uh, triple burner that's in line and something you can see the, the fuel level. Those are all important things for me. All right, let's move on to cutters because we do want to cut our cigar. Now, granted, like I said, you could bite it, but I don't recommend it. And I've seen people try to use a knife. Another bad idea because the, it just seems to tear it apart. In a pinch, does it work? Yes. Would I recommend it? No. So, what you see here, ultimately, are all kind of a lot of the same thing. This, 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 and this are all basically just guillotine cutters. And what does that mean? That just means you pull it open, you put the cigar in here, and like a guillotine, it cuts the tip off. Okay? There's a few variations. So if you notice like this one, this just has one blade. The blade is also, well, it's sort of like two blades because there's a blade up here and this is a blade too, but there's only one moving side that that clamps down on the cigar, okay? Whereas this one, if you notice, both this end and this end come out. So it actually makes like two, there's two blades that then kind of pinch together. And if you notice on this one, unlike most, this one actually is serrated. Uh, you don't see that very often. That's actually why I got this one. Um, I don't think the serrations work as good as I thought they were going to. I've actually noticed that this one sort of tears up the cigar a little bit more than... A, uh, it's kind of on par with a regular straight blade guillotine that isn't sharp enough. So, <clears throat> although the idea seemed kind of cool and it's gunmetal gray and it's all kind of really cool looking, I actually don't use it very much because... The serrations didn't seem to do what I was hoping. So, um, and again, a lot of us end up with a lot of these. Like these are like freebies. This was Oliva. I think I got it with something free. I think this is the very first one I ever got when I was probably like 19 years old. It's just cheap ABS, weird looking plastic. And if you notice, it's got a guillotine blade in here, but it's almost like the edge of a razor blade. It's angled which actually I think works pretty good. This is actually a pretty good cutter um, for what it is. This again is another one. It's just, it's like the, it's like this one, but without the serrations. So this is the, you know, it's got two blades, one on each side that pinches together. And then <clears throat> on the last part is a punch. I always recommend having a punch because if you're like me and you like box press cigars, a punch, nothing really works better than a punch. Um, and again, it's kind of cool. I just I keep them all on a little keychain because these are just kind of all the same except for the punch. Um, and I just keep it in a little pouch. Again, that I'll show you when I talk about uh, humidors and travel stuff. But um, they're all kind of the same. They all kind of do the same thing. Um, this is pretty much what I carry the most, though. This is the uh, Calibri um, V-cut. So if you see the blade in there is a V. See, that comes down into a V. This, to me, whoever thought of inventing the V-cut was a genius. I don't think there's any better cut than a V-cut. Um, I, for the most part, would would dump all the rest of these except for a punch. Oh, to, to just carry a V-cutter. Um, so... And why I like this one is the Calibri. It's a little more expensive because I've actually gotten a few V cutters like this black one. And I think I bought like a two pack and it was like, you know, $8. They're not, <clears throat> they're not, they're okay. And they, they work good enough. But I will tell you when it comes to a good cutter, spend the money. I mean, I think these are like expensive for what they are. They're like 60, 70 bucks. But I think I got this one off Amazon for like $38. And it's the Calibri brand, so you know it's good. You know, it's all spring-loaded. Um, it, it, it does a pretty good gauge up to at least 60. Um, blade is extremely sharp. It's a, it's a pretty deep V-cut, so it goes into the cigar well. I'm just telling you, you know, if, I, if you're going to spend money, I mean, you can get cheap lighters. You can get cheap a lot of other stuff. Spend the money on a good cutter. And so... 
out of all these cutters, I will, I will recommend this is the one to get. This Calibri deep V cutter, you just can't beat it. I think it's the best cut. Um, and for if you are entertaining and you've got a bunch of people over, this was awesome too. This is also um, a V cut and a guillotine cut, two different sizes. So you can see these two are larger than these two. And you literally just put your cigar in and you pull the handle down and you'll see the blade rotates on the inside and it cuts it. So I just, I added this in because I think it's cool. Most things for cigars are travel. They're, you know, pick up and go independent. They're just for you. You put it in your pocket, whatever. But if you're having a cigar night and you're having a bunch of friends over, it is kind of cool to, to have a few desktop items out. So to have something like a cutter like this that people can pass around and, and that sit on the table wherever you're, you know, having your gathering. It, it's, I think it's kind of cool to have things like this. Even like a big lighter, like those big desktop lighters. I don't even have one, but those are kind of cool too. When you go to someone's house and you're having a cigar night and they've got, you know, a big desktop lighter and, you know, a, a cutter like this that people can pass around and use. Like maybe someone doesn't have a V cutter and now they can try it. Two different sizes so you can get the bigger ring gauge cigars in there, you know. Anyway, I think it's cool to have. So in the end, my pick for uh, the very best cigar cutter would be Deep V and I would get, a, it doesn't have to be this exact brand, but I would get a good one. I would, I would argue if you want to skimp on other things, I get it. This isn't where you skimp in my opinion. I would definitely get a good one, spend the money, and you'll be really happy you did. This thing will last you for a long, long time. All right, let's move on to the next topic, which is cigar storage. Um, so I'm assuming at some point you're going to do one of two things. You're going to determine that cigar smoking is just not your bag and you're going to stop doing it, or you're going to continue to do it and you're going to move well past buying one or two cigars at a time at a cigar shop. So at some point you're going to want to store these things and you're going to want to be able to move them around safely. So where you're probably going to start is going to be something like this. This is what you'd call a desktop humidor. Okay, so we'll open this one up. This is a 50 count. So that means I would say you could put 35 to 40 cigars in here max. Whenever they say the, the count, if it says 50, that means it could probably hold 50, but you don't want that many in there. So um, how many cigars you end up having at any given time is going to sort of determine what size because you can get these down to 10 count uh 20 count 25 count i've seen 50 then you can get up to 100 i mean you i've seen chests where there's a 5000 count so but they're all sort of the same idea they're all going to be lined with spanish cedar they're all going to have some form of a uh humidification method which this is a floral disc which i normally don't recommend but if it, if it's all you got just make sure, if nothing else, you use distilled water only. Never use tap water. Always distilled water. And then it's got a uh, little hygrometer, which I would always recommend getting rid of the analog and getting it digital. But again, if this is what you have, go for it. This is awesome. This is so much better than throwing them into a drawer where they're going to dry out and be ruined. At least this gives you some ability to control the humidity. Um, so... You can also get acrylic jars too. That's another method. But but by far, you're going to see something like this, which is what you would just classify as a desktop humidor. Okay, moving on from that. Um, I would never recommend what these are actually called a, a herfidor um, or a travel humidor. So these are meant to basically take your cigar from your normal storage place and move them into a temporary storage place for travel or like you know a day event so and again that's why i've got two different sizes this one holds five cigars this one holds 15. so this is typically one i would take on an airplane to my luggage okay this is typically something i would throw in my car my backpack my motorcycle and just go so we could look at one of these if you'd like um basically you just pop these open lift this up and then what it has they a lot of them well most of them have that again little floral disc which i recommend not using because they can get moldy and these ones are pretty much permanent so i would really never use these at least the one in the herf or in the um, the desktop you could throw out this one's in the lid so if it gets moldy it could ruin your whole travel case so i would not use that 
and so you see what's in here is just this kind of foam on the top and bottom it actually comes with several layers of this foam but i have it out because i don't i i want to carry more cigars in this than it'll allow me with the other sections of foam in but again it's got a nice seal on it you can see this nice rubber seal um pretty much watertight you know you close it you can lock this sucker up and it's it's tight so it's you know it's going to keep the moisture in there if you throw in like a bovita packer or a water pillow whatever you're going to use um but again 15 count i would argue that in a pinch if you had like five or ten or five or i guess five or ten cigars and you don't have a desktop you could t you could use that for a temporary little humidor but i wouldn't suggest it it doesn't it's all plastic and it doesn't have the cedar lining like this does which it really helps with the exchange of humidity and uh, and the seasoning of your cigars this does give a nice aromatic flavor and scent um and and beyond that pest control um the spanish cedar is the main reason they use it besides its ability to breathe with the humidity is that uh, apparently bugs don't like this stuff so when you're talking about like cigar beetles and stuff and other kinds of critters um, this offers a little bit of a protection and so that's why these are always lined with spanish cedar because there's three different kinds of cedar but the spanish offers the best protection um, it's the best for using in a humidor again this is exactly the same thing this is a, fifth, a five count i would not recommend using that even for temporary use because there's not enough air around the cigars to um to really make a, a humid climate inside the container this one like i said if it holds 15 and you only put like five or ten in here temporarily you could put like a bovita pack in there and there's enough room left to to make like a little bit of an environment for the um, humidity to travel around in this one closes up too tightly this really is just for traveling um, but again for traveling you can't beat it because you can just throw this in the back of a truck and it's going to bounce around and your cigars come out perfect because it's the same thing it's it's uh got the the two well let's let's just open it and take a look it's got the two uh levels of that foam okay so your cigars literally just sit right in here and then this clamps right on it so they're not going anywhere i mean it really makes them immobile um but again, as you can see, once you have your five cigars in here, and you, it's pretty much completely filled. And so by the time you close this up, there's absolutely no room for humidity to be traveling around inside this thing. So it really is just a travel herfidor. Would never recommend using that for any kind of a long-term storage situation. Um, <clears throat> again, far as just kind of other methods you can use. This is just one where it's just these like metal tubes. You can unscrew it. This almost turns like any cigar into like a tubo cigar where you just take the cap off slide the cigar in again meant for temporary this is something i was given that is kind of like um you can slide this into your inside vest pocket and it just keeps two cigars and uh, you're good to go again this would never be any kind of permanent storage i'm going to throw this pouch in here just because this is very handy so what i do on this pouch is i keep my bleeder and cutter in the front i keep two lighters in the back because you can separate it with this membrane and then in the front is where I stick that uh, stack of um, carabiner cutters and punch. I put that in here. So that when I need to grab and go, I just grab this case. I've got uh, two lighters. I've got about five cutters, including a punch. And I've got a bleeder tool. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty much good to go. I mean, I'm if I just grab this, I got everything I need. So I literally can just, I can grab this. I grab this. It's typically what I do. And I'm out the door. So I've got my five cigars, I've got every tool I could possibly need, and I'm good. And so in, the, in this category, the only thing that would be a step up from these situations would be, as you've seen in other videos probably, this is a, what they call a wine door So this is a basically a refrigerated unit. You can see it's got temperature controls, things like that. Um, Built-in humidity by method of beads and then underneath in the bottom i have a cigar oasis and then i've got the digital hygrometer with the temperature so again this is uh this is when you get tired of having three or four or five of these like i did where i gave all of them away except this one because this is the very first one i ever bought so i kept this one out of just nostalgic sake and it's nice for overflow if i need to shove something in there i can um 
there are other methods, but I'm not going to go into them. Um, there's a cooler door. There's other ways to make a humidor. If you don't want to get like a desktop, you can basically convert a cooler into a humidor. The only downside to that is there's no wood inside. And I really think that it's important to for long-term storage to have, have Spanish cedar lined humidor. So again, you can find deals, and I've turned a lot of people onto deals where you can get maybe not as nice as like cherry wood, but you can get like a laminated version of veneered like cigar box like this that, that does hold like I think 50 and it comes with 10 cigars and I you regularly see deals where it's like 29 bucks so you're literally getting the analog hydrom hygrometer you're getting the floral foam disc for the RH you're getting the box and you're getting 10 cigars and it's literally like 29 bucks so Cigars International a lot of other of these online retailers often throw those deals out there so that's just something to keep an eye on because uh, that's I mean Pretty much if you're able to buy cigars, you could should be able to afford 29 bucks for a way to store them properly. So I would definitely do that and keep an eye out for those deals. And then at least start here. And then uh, as it grows, you know, look into changing to a different method. But this is at least where I would start is at, at, at minimum have a desktop humidor. All right, let's move into ashtrays. And again, you might think, why are you even talking about ashtrays? But again, there are... A lot of varieties of ashtrays out there and they serve different purposes so um, I think they're worth talking about um, like I said before in my opinion if you're gonna have a big group of people over it's nice to have something like this you know big beefy ceramic ashtray that you know suitable for four four people to have a cigar around a table Again, another one like this. This is the cheaper version. This holds two, but obviously you could hold more. It's basically just plastic. You can already see it's got burn marks in it, but you know, it does the job for more people. If you're looking at it just being you or, you know, kind of cool novelty ones, like my wife got me this one. It's got a little motorcycle and chain, a wrench. So again, it's like a little novelty one, but this would be good for just one person. Um, and traveling, it's nice to have single guitar, single cigar ashtrays like this is nice felt lined metal this was a gift from a friend of mine um she got me this uh i think for my birthday and it's awesome little uh single unit it's small easy to pack away and you know you just set one cigar right there and you're good to go and you can clean it out put it back in your luggage and you're on your way um and I got this one I wanted to show just because I think this is kind of a neat one. Another travel one, just kind of a single use setup. But you literally just flip this around. It's all magnetic. And there you go. Now you've got a little tray for one cigar. And then even if you wanted to know where to put the ashes, you can literally just, you know, cover the ashes back up until you can get up like into, say, your hotel room or wherever you can to go ahead and empty it. But again, this is a nice little wooden box that I thought was pretty slick. Um, again, not a whole lot to go into with ashtrays, but I will tell you that I've been to several cigar nights where friends of mine are hosting, you know, 20, 30 people. And at the last minute you're scrambling because you're like, oh my God, I don't have enough cigars or uh, enough ashtrays for all these cigars. You know, I've got a ton of people here and we've got like three ashtrays. Um, so another method I've seen Actually, the same friend that gave me this, what she would do when, when we have a cigar night is uh, put out a bunch of little metal tin buckets that I think you would get at like 99 cent store or Dollar Tree. Um, they're not ashtrays, but they work perfect for that. Afterwards, you rinse them out, stack them up, and just keep them outside. And that way, when people show up and there's sometimes 15, 20, 30, we've had 30 plus people, um, you just hand out all these little buckets all over the place and there's plenty of ashtrays. All right. This is the last category. I guess you would just call this miscellaneous cigar stuff. First thing, and I found this to be quite handy. Actually, my mom got me this for my birthday, I think, or Christmas. And she saw it and she goes, maybe you'd like this. And this is proven to be quite handy. What this is, is this is a cigar clamp, okay? So this big one can go on the edge of a table, can go on anything. But if you notice, it's rounded. These are actually meant to go on handlebars. So this is what I use on my motorcycle. So if I'm smoking a cigar and we're about to take off, I don't have to ditch the cigar. I can literally have this on my handlebar and then this is where the cigar goes. 
so you just clamp the cigar and it holds a cigar as you're uh, cruising along. In fact, let me pull a I'll pull a cigar out real quick and I'll show you what it. Uh, so let's say we're just cruising along, right? I just take this like this, clamp it in. So as you can see, this then this is clamped onto my handlebars. And so it holds it perfectly. And then when we get somewhere, I can just literally just pull it out and I'm good to go. So this is actually proven to be <clears throat> somewhat a novelty item that has turned into a I wouldn't leave home without it item. So this is this is a fantastic thing to get. Um, and I don't remember, I think she'd only paid like, I think like 12 bucks or nine bucks or something. So a uh, hell of an investment, especially if you are uh, on a bike riding a motorcycle type thing. And again, this this could also clamp on the edge of a table. It could go anywhere. It could be out in a workshop, in a workbench. It could be in your backyard, on the fence. It could be anywhere. Um, but I would highly recommend, if you think you might need this, you'll soon find that it's invaluable. <laughs> so I dig it. Um, <clears throat> and the last item, this is kind of a cool item. And you may or may, already, may, or may not already know what this is. This is a cigar reaming tool, okay? So let's see which end I got. Okay, yep, I got the right end. This is a cigar reamer, okay? It's hard to tell, but all these little these little cutouts, if I run my finger across this, although it looks smooth, it's not. All these little cutouts are catching my, my finger. I can feel it. Okay, so this isn't like a smooth needle with notches. Every little notch is kind of sticking out a little bit. Uh, and then it's obviously got a sharp point. So the whole point of this is is to improve the draw on a tight cigar. So let's say you you cut a cigar and you light it and you're like, wow, this thing, I can barely get air to pass through this cigar. <clears throat> this reamer, you send through the center of the cigar and then they twist it, kind of twist it as you pull it back out. And these little, little tiny edges of these cutouts are going to grab some tobacco and uh, it's going to basically put a hole down the center of your cigar so that you're able to then draw on the cigar. Because if you've all, you know, if you, anyone that's experienced a tight draw on a cigar, there's a point where you pretty much just have to throw it away because you just, you can't, it's just too much effort. And it's, <clears throat> it was either rolled too tightly or you've got like a leaf in the way or there's some stems they left in and it's just causing the draw to be too tight. This is a great way, because I've seen people, you know, trying to squeeze the cigar, roll it between their fingers, trying to loosen the tobacco up. It doesn't really work very well. Um, and then the other side of this, you can unscrew. This is a cigar poker. So this is for those of you who like to tear the band off your cigars and then smoke the cigar down to a tiny little nub. You poke, this is like one of those corn cob pokers. You poke this into your cigar, and then you can smoke the cigar down to a little tiny nub. Um, I don't do that. I don't, I'll never, I will tell you, I'll never use this ever. Um, uh, mistakenly, I think people have thought that this is some way to poke the end of your cigar instead of using a cutter. That's not what this is for. This is meant to, to poke your cigar this way and use it to smoke your cigar so you're not holding a hot little nub. Um, again, I know I'll never use that because I don't smoke my cigars down that far. Um, I think they get too bitter at the end for the most part. Um, there is a, this was, there's a, there's a brand that everyone talks about that most people know. Um, that, uh, it's called the perfect draw. I just found it was more expensive. It had a like a pretty aggressive hook at the end when i've watched videos of people using it it looks like it's almost tearing the inside of the cigar apart which i maybe it works great I, i'll be honest with you i've never used it so i don't know but when i started looking at them and i saw the price of this i think i paid like 12 or 13 dollars for this on amazon free shipping and it it it's it just seemed to me like this was a better way to go it seemed like this was a little more gentle of a method than than what the perfect draw looked. But again, if you are a perfect draw fan and you, you've used it and you like it, by all means, go for it. Um, I don't have the practical experience to tell you yes or no, um, whether this is gonna be any better than the perfect draw. Maybe the perfect draw is awesome. So anyway, <clears throat> those are the last two items, you know, that I thought I would mention. Um, 
I would say the only thing, only other thing I would mention is maybe an honorable mention in this video is maybe my soccer squatch. Why soccer squatch? I don't know. But you know what? Don't take life so damn serious. You know, I saw this little guy and I'm like, you know what? That'll be great to sit on top of my humidor. It, uh, you know, make it fun. It's silly. But you know what? If you're into cigars or whatever you're into, you know, make it fun, make it light. You know, if you see a little s stupid socket squatch or uh, the, you know, the traditional little like Indian statue or, or a lot of, you know, really cool old posters and pictures to put in your cigar lounge or your cigar room or whatever, you know what, whatever makes you happy, do that. And uh, so for me, a little sauce squatch smoking a cigar made me happy. So I bought it. All right, guys, back downstairs. Um, uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, I know some of the stuff is basic, you know, um, especially if you've been smoking cigars for a long time. You know, most of what I ran through, you're going to be like, well, yeah, I get it. It's an ashtray. But, you know, I just kind of wanted to take every category and expound on it and maybe throw out a few ideas and a uh, um, few thoughts of what I've run into in the past and what I use on the regular and you know if I'm grabbing the same thing over and over why am I grabbing that one over and over what about that it stands out so much that that's my go-to so that's kind of what I wanted wanted to do with this in every category is say yeah it's it's a uh, it's a simple topic yeah they're lighters they all shoot flame out and they light your cigar but why am I grabbing the same one every time what about that one is so different so that's why I wanted to kind of do that in every category so that maybe maybe you would think, oh, I've never even seen a lighter that's three in-line burners. I'm going to try that. That's cool. So anyway, that was my goal. Um, so hopefully that worked. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. Um, anyway, Eric and Slocos Cigars, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want. Um, make comments. I always answer all my comments and I love your guys' comments. You always come up with the coolest stuff. So um, Anyway, do that. Go enjoy the day. It's kind of a gloomy Sunday in Southern California. Um, it was actually a 10% chance of rain today, which it never did But it is still a little overcast and cloudy, which is kind of nice because it's been so hot. So um, Anyway, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go have an awesome cigar Hang out with your friends. Have it by yourself. Do whatever makes you happy so go do that, and I will see you on the next video.